Hello nieces and nephews, this is your Uncle Bill, and we're trying something new. We have my daughter Bridget here, and she's filming. Yay! We are cooking some chicken in the air fryer. We're doing that first, and then we're going to do sweet potato fries. This is her first time doing a film rig, and she said to do a little bit of light lorry salt. So we're doing light lorry salt. And then we're gonna pop it in the air fryer. The air fryer's on, so, well, oh, no it isn't. That was my light. <laughs> Here's the air fryer. I saw it, I saw it plug, so I figured it was on. And we're gonna go for chicken. We're gonna add three minutes, cause we're not preheating. Let's start. Now we're cooking with the air fryer. Woohoo! This is a sweet potato. We are going to be making sweet potato fries today. So we cut off the both ends. Sweet potato or yam. And then what we're going to do is get out my carrot peeler. Victoria Knox, my favorite one. And just quickly take and peel all the skin off. We're doing that while we're waiting for the chicken to finish. This actually I found is pretty tasty. You could actually use these for garnish if you wanted to. I've actually tasted this. It's a little starchy, but there we go. We're all set, all peeled. All right, chicken's done. Let's get a look at that. Nice. Air fried chicken, all done, ready to eat. Next up, we're going to be doing the sweet potato, which is right here. We just cut this in half. And as you can see, it's very difficult to cut this. So I have found from experience, this does not go through my potato uh, slicer very well for making fries so I make it a little bit smaller first and then put the slicer down on it I line it up just like that and let's hope we can do this without breaking my slicer there's one done so it comes through quite well so if you have one of these fine wire for doing french fries, they're specifically designed for russets, I, I think, in my opinion. If you're going to do sweet potato, make sure to do a smaller potato so that you don't break it. This is not an easy task. And that one should have been a little bit smaller. So what we'll do is we'll just finish it off with the knife. This one hopefully will be more cooperative. There we go. Got it closer to the end and now I can just push through with my thumbs. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how the huck directions are for this cutter. This is a vintage cutter. If anybody's interested in finding out where to get them, Uncle Bill will help you out. Just write Uncle Bill Doobie at gmail.com. I answer all of my letters. There we have it. This is probably more air, more fries than the air fryer will take, but we're going to prepare them now. Use a gallon bread bag. Just put a little bit of oil, one to two teaspoons in there. So we'll coat the potato and the way I do that is I take about a pound of it it's not an exact science there. I don't worry about the little small pieces of potato because there's something about when the air fryer burns something <laughs> It actually tastes fairly good. It's as simple as that. I could add salt to it, but I'm going to let Bridget add salt to hers if she thinks it's needed or ketchup. 
But the big thing is to put oil on it. Just a light coating. We just load it up. A little gap between each one as best as possible. We will just put this through on the regular French fry setting, which is 18 minutes, I think. And we will shake it midway through to get it done. And that looks like about the right amount, maybe a, a little bit more, but I shouldn't really overload this. You want an air gap wherever possible, because wherever these are touching each other, obviously they're not going to cook as well. Here we go. Now we're going into the air fryer. Here's the fries right before they go in. And we will come back when they're all done. In the meantime, there's our chicken. Doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait to eat. We're into the last minute. Yay! Last minute, we're gonna get fries soon. Woohoo! Doesn't that look delicious? Look at those fries. Yum! Uncle Bill wants to eat his chicken and fries. What a great dinner. Love it. Now time to go get Bridget some. Thanks for watching. Every day this side of the dirt is a great day, so go out there, have some fun, stay COVID safe. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And here's some more videos to watch.